Welcome everyone to the What If Lab, the place where we ponder on the fictional omniverse's greatest questions, such as who would win between character A or character B? Or what would happen if said character landed on said anime or said movie? Or what if this universe interacted with this multiverse or this multiverse interacted with such universes? This is a place where we ponder on the infinite possibilities and answer them as best we can. Superhero teams. There is a sense of excitement when you get to see your favorite superheroes unite and fight along each other. Teams like the Justice League, the Avengers, the X-Men, the Teen Titans, Justice Society and the Fantastic Four are exactly that. They are the combination of the unison of your favorite Marvel and DC heroes who come together to accomplish what a single hero could not, proving that in many cases teamwork can go beyond the capabilities and reach of an individual. But what about heroes who aren't part of any hero team? Heroes that aren't part of DC or Marvel. Around the vast fictional omniverse, there are many heroes who we have all wondered what would happen if this guy met this guy? Like, what if Dexter met Jimmy Neutron? Or how would a team up of Danny Phantom, Jenny the Robot, and Jake Long look? I, like many of you, have asked this question to myself many times. And rather than wonder how they would look, I've begun to ask myself, who would I want to see in a crossover? Who would I like to see team up in a Teen Titans slash Justice League type of team up? So why not try to answer it? Let's go, let's answer this question, shall we? If I were to make a superhero team, what heroes or characters from the uh, infinite fictional omniverse that obviously aren't DC or Marvel would I choose? Well, we would first need to address an obvious point. We would need to figure out the pieces to assemble the puzzle. So as to choose the first piece, we need to find ourselves a leader. The leader. Probably the most important piece of the puzzle. As a team leader is the person in charge of orchestrating the sum of the parts in order to have them work as efficiently as possible. He is the control tower, the head captain. He has to know his team the best. On most occasions, he must be the most knowledgeable and experienced person, a seasoned fighter who will be suited to better use his and everyone's quirks. It is for that reason that I choose none other than Nigel, aka number one from Codename Kids Next Door. Nigel is shown throughout the entirety of Codename Kids Next Door to be an exceptional leader, capable and a very smart fighter, who has been against a well-diverse group of enemies and has always found a way to come out on top. Even the people in his universe deem him the greatest operative in Code Name Kids Next Door history. And it's because of these reasons, I believe number one would make a great leader for my team as he will be able to quickly adapt to it and lead them in the toughest situations. As for my second member, I need someone versatile who can adapt to any situation and can not only bring support to number one, but can take on more dangerous threats. I need someone who can take on anyone, which is why I went with fan favorite Ben Tan. Ben is literally a one-man army with a million tricks he literally has an alien for every single occupation, situation, mission, whatever type of threat, danger, whatever. He has an alien for it. He is the perfect all-arounder of the team. Smart, with a photographic memory, quick on his feet, and with the heart of a true hero. He will be number one's right hand, helping him co-lead the team in battle. While Ben might be overpowered in his own right, he can't do everything or be everywhere all the time. Well, unless you count Alien X, but what's the fun in that? So we need someone else who can keep up with anything that comes their way. Someone who can improvise, 
have a weapon or a power for any type of situation. Which is why for my third member, I went with Jenny the Robot from My Life as a Teenage Robot. Jenny is a fierce and creative fighter with near limitless potential thanks to her unique android slash robot physiology, granting her the ability to morph and shape her body to anything she needs, be it guns, lasers, uh, giant hands, reflectors, shields, whatever she needs. Her incredible technological uh, versatility will come really in hand for the team in any type of situation. For my fourth and next member, I will need someone who can go in and out of places, someone who is good at getting information, someone who can infiltrate and go covert. And for that reason, the fourth member of my team will be none other than Kim Possible. Kim is a great fighter, being a master of more than 16 styles of combat. She's a great spy, she's smart, so she will be the perfect recon for the team. When it comes to making teams, it's important to have experts in different fields so that the team can truly be ready for anything. In the case of Magical Threads, I chose Jake Long, aka the American Dragon. He is an expert in the mystic arts, a warrior who specializes in magical combat. Someone skilled and powerful who can hang in with the best of them. He is a dedicated warrior that will prove to be a great asset for the team. Going by the same line of uh, bringing experts to help the team be prepared for any type of situation, when it comes to the supernatural, I believe there's no one better for this job than Danny Phantom. Which is simple to explain, coming from a family of ghost hunters and having ghost powers himself, he brings an extra level of incredible versatility to the team. He brings powers such as flight, super strength, energy projection, phasing. Things that help him not only be uh, an asset on battlefield, but also in covert type missions, thanks to his invisibility and facing. Which is why I believe he will be a perfect asset for the team. Another type of expert the team will definitely need. It's someone who is an expert in technology. Someone who is the brain of the team. Someone who can solve the hardest puzzles and have the best solutions to most of the dangerous situations. It needs someone who can think quick outside of the box and have a plan for anything that comes their way. We need an inventor, an innovator, who can work under pressure and respond with efficiency. Which is why I chose none other than Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory as the team's scientific mind, the brain, who will always have the right invention for the job. So we already have the leader, the brain, the covert agent and a few specialists on the board. What's next? Well, if the Justice League has taught me anything is that you can never have too much power on a team. Which is why I decided to choose Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls as the team's muscle since she is a fierce combatant with power to move worlds and speed to travel through time. With her incredible vast arsenal of power, she's essentially a supergirl who will be a great addition to the team helping Ben and everybody else fight the more cosmic type threats that come their way. Lastly, as my final piece to the team, I need someone who can glue the team together, someone who can keep them in check, keep them honest, someone experienced who can be a mentor of sorts for the younger members. For this part, I could not think of anyone else than Samurai Jack. He is the most skilled warrior on the team, as well as the most experienced. He's older and wiser, which would prove to be very important qualities that will help improve the team, guiding them through adversity and mentoring them, teaching them what it is to be a true selfless hero. Well, let's summarize. My Super Cartoon League of Heroes will be composed of, currently, Leader will be number one. His right-hand man will be Ben 10. A specialist of the team will be all-arounders such as Jenny, Jake, and Danny. The covert slash recon specialist will be Keen Possible, and the powerhouse will be Blossom. The team's brain is Dexter, and the mentor slash trainer of them all is Jack. When it comes to missions, or who would they face slash have to fight, we can make a hypothetical where Aku managed to breach into the Omniverse and recruit People like Bill Gags, Vlad, him, father, and the Hans clan, 
and created a sort of multiversal army to try and conquer reality. It is here where we see Dexter find the rings of a multiversal anomaly and ends up meeting the multiversal entity Professor Paradox who recruits him and all the others in order to help Ben and Jack take on a coup in his new found army. And it's there you'll have the adventures of the superhero cartoon league I created. That is essentially it. That's how I will do it. If you think I missed someone or you think uh, you could have put up an even better team than me, feel free to leave a comment and be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next What If Questions of the What If Lab.